Hey guys, what's up? It's the Circuit Surgeon here, and today I'm going to be demonstrating a new prototype, which I just put the finishing touches on a little while ago. Um, it's a expansion module for the Korg Volca Beats, and just to give a brief overview, what it adds is individual outputs for each of the drum sounds, um, independent volume control for each of the outputs, as well as for the relative amount to a master mix out. Um, the volume will go all the way from nothing to just barely clipping, so you get a little bit of distortion if you want it. Um, and then there's also a control voltage input uh, with adjustable attenuation, so anything from uh, you know, zero to about 10 volts. Um, and then uh, power, uh, supplied by a 9 volt wall wart um, center minus standard 9 volt power supply. Uh, uh, you can also power the Volca Beats through the connection to this module, uh, which is kind of nice since Korg decided to put that uh, 1.7 mil center, uh, center positive supply for the Volco, which is kind of non-standard power supply. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hook things up and then I'll show you a detailed look at everything that's going on here. Alright, so I guess first thing, I'll just go over the mods that I've done on the drum machine itself. Uh, first thing you'll probably notice is it's got the MIDI output jack, um, sends uh, sync data to another MIDI device. Um, got this 9 pin D sub connector which routes the signals to and from the Volca expander. Uh, got this CV enable switch, <coughs> which uh, basically, uh, I'm not sure like you know what kind of protection circuitry that the Volca has so it's just there as a safety net so that uh, if you are using CV and you send a low voltage signal in it's not going to sink a bunch of current from the power circuitry on the Volca uh, so that just completely isolates the Volca from the external CV source. Um, what else? Um, most of the uh, drum parts uh, came off of you know, labeled nodes on the back of the circuit board. Um, the kick drum, however, I got that off of uh, the anode of diode D19 on the bottom right of the control board. Um, you know, I found like a few other suggestions for places to pull the kick drum off of. And, you know, that to me seems like uh, that diode D19 Gives the um, gives the best kick sound. You you get the full effect. Uh, you're not missing out on any of the uh, harmonics and modulations and whatever. So um, you know if you feel like giving it a shot for yourself, uh, check that out. Um, <coughs> and oh, and it's got the uh, snare drum fix in it to replace that missing capacitor C78. Um, and then last thing, just got this little quarter inch jack plugged in here. Because for whatever reason, I found that uh, you get less noise out of the internal speaker uh, or out of the um, external uh, expansion module with a jack or something inserted in. Uh, so you know you could either like pull your main mix off of there or just you know have a little adapter in place. But it cuts out some high frequency hum. I'm not sure what the source is. Might be a current going to the speaker or something. Um, but that cuts that out easily enough. Um, so yeah, I'll just uh, go ahead and start going down the line on the expansion module. Um, in the second jack position over here, you got the kick drum. And then next to it, got, a, got the snare drum. Toms. Got hats. Got a P 
TCM sounds. And then in this last position, we've got uh, the, uh, what is it, ring noise. Which is triggered from the hats. And then uh, I've got a uh, CV input over here on the far left, and this is being routed to the ring noise, and or, or rather uh, routed to the grain on the hats, which controls uh, hat grain, obviously, and the uh, ring noise pitch. So you get some pretty cool uh, pitch effects out of it that way. I'm just gonna run a uh, uh, triangle wave LFO to it and give you a taste for what that sounds like. Turn the CV on. What else? Uh, oh yeah, I, I lied earlier. I said um, you know CV from like zero to ten volts. Actually, you can really put uh, any signal that you want to on the CV jack. It's got uh, protection both on the input and the output side. Uh, so you know nothing that you can send into this thing is gonna damage the Volca in any way. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, if you're like me, you like playing around with electromagnets and motors and all kinds of weird stuff as CV sources and you have right at it and hook it in. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and just do like a short demo of everything all together here. So there you have it. Um, oh yeah, I guess I just mentioned yeah, uh, CV attenuation knob here. So yeah, whatever signal that you're sen sending in, you can you know, 10 volts, 100 volts, whatever. Um, I mean, I guess if you got a little too crazy for it you, with it, you might burn out this pot. But uh, you know, anything within reason. Uh, so yeah, that's the mod. Um, yeah, it's, uh, if you've got any interest in this or something similar, uh, I've got links to contact information below. Um, you know, there's a few other spots on the back of the Volca that you can take other sounds off of. Um, you can also do CV inputs to pretty much every one of these uh, knobs on here. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about doing like a... Um, like a multiplexed CV input thing where you could have it be have a CV input or several assignable to different knobs. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, I know like time and depth CV is a popular mod. Um, I just really liked the grain effect and like the nice like robot -y noises that you can get out. Um, yeah, and I guess that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you've got any questions about these mods or you want to have something like this done or you've got ideas for other mods that you'd like done, uh, feel free to get in touch with me. And yeah, thanks for watching.